minute. You know, if you want to learn more about how the fire department uses this equipment to save lives and property, you can become an explorer like me. It's pretty hard, but you'll be proud of yourself. That's it for now. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Oh, Martelli, back up a minute. Do we have to do calculus on Sundays? Teddy, Teddy. Now, come on. It's just simple hydraulics. How many gallons a minute do we have to pump to get a nozzle pressure of 100 PSI on the wagon battery? Well, come on. It's simple. Oh, sure, sure, if you're Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein? Wasn't he a fireman? <laughs> <laughs> teddy, Teddy, Teddy. Come on. Follow along. It's not that difficult. Gallons per minute equals 30 times the diameter squared times the square root of the nozzle pressure. Here's heartening news. News which proves heroes still do exist. Yesterday in Cleveland, Ohio, firefighter John McKinney risked his life in a daring rescue of a one-year-old baby girl. Little Jenny Potter was trapped in her burning home until fireman McKinney rushed inside after the fire chief had called everyone out. McKinney swept Jenny from her crib and carried her to safety. Only moments later, the roof of that building collapsed. Hey, you guys, check this out. Afterwards, hey, what's going on? Hey, what is it, Bernie? Rescue by saying it's part of the job. More news in just a moment. Oh, you missed it. This firefighter risked his own life to save a little baby girl. Hey, that's terrific. Where was that? Cleveland. You see, this building was about to cave in and the chief ordered his men out. But this one guy went back in there anyway and saved the girl's life. Hmm, pretty heroic. Sounds like he took quite a risk. Well, he did, but somebody had to do it. That's why he was such a hero, right, Ted? Uh, yeah. But look, partner, I know the fireman was brave. And the way things worked out, it's lucky that he was. But I guarantee you his chief had good reasons for giving them orders to get out of there. And that fireman might not have been so lucky. Now, I'm not trying to take away from what he did. What I'm trying to get across to you is I don't want you to get the idea that breaking orders makes you a hero. And you save those kind of heroes for your comic books. Good red. Good red. Task Force 1, Task Force 93, Engine 43, Battalion 6. Respond to reported gas well fire. Site number 3 at Midland Gas Company, North End Parker Road. Danny, this is a gas well fire. You're sitting this one out. I'm sorry.
write a small business success story. Listen to how AT&T comes through to help turn small businesses into bigger ones and learn to write your own success story. Who says a little shrimp can't be big business? AT&T showed us how telemarketing can pull in customers from coast to coast. Hi. AT&T explained how an 800 number and catalogs makes it easier for customers to reach me. Now, my bunny business is booming. AT&T helped me turn my one-man shop into a 75-man operation. Now I'm wheeling and dealing cross-country. Call 1-800-848-8900 now for your free booklets and learn how AT&T can help you manage field sales, improve customer service, expand markets, and ease cash flow with telecommunications ideas to grow on. Why not let AT&T help put you on the high road too? AT&T, the right choice. Introducing Lee Sculptured Nails. Long-lasting like luxury salon nails, but affordable because you do them at home. Lee Sculptured Nails. Affordable. But are they easy? Like nothing you've ever used before. If you can polish your nails, you can do it. Glue on an extension. No form. Brush on the overlay. Like nail polish. Smooth shape and polish. Lee Sculptured Nails are easy. And long-lasting like salon nails. Plus, they're affordable. Lee Sculptured Nails. Who else but Lee? Here come the twins. And here come the laughs. Maybe I should have just left one of you at the hospice. Uh, what does that mean? Well, I don't know. They're two of a kind. One of us is definitely adopted. Double Trouble, today at 5.30. All eyes are on New York as the world's top tennis stars prepare for America's own Grand Slam event, the 1987 U.S. Open, live starting Tuesday on USA. On my next show, former First Lady Betty Ford, plus famous face Jack Guilford, and some musicians who always have to keep in line, the Police Emerald Society Band. Tonight at 10. Seen at Site 3 at Midland Gas Company. We've got gas escaping and ignited around the wellhead. We've had an explosion in an adjacent equipment shed. We're committed here for some time. Well, let's hit the brush first so it doesn't catch! What's in that shed? Test and monitoring equipment. Delicate but safe. Do you have any idea how the fire started? Not really. Production well fires are rare. The men were working on the wellhead, trying to stop a leak and boom. Lucky thing, nobody got burned. Did you try to shut down the well? No time. We couldn't get close enough. The first thing I did was calling you guys. Now, can you put it out? Only if we can shut it off at the source. Otherwise, we'll have to let it burn until you can cap it off. Good idea. The one thing we don't want is any unburned gas flowing free. All it takes is a spark to blow this whole field. Ted! No! Come on over. I've got an assignment for you. All right, the safety valve's on the bottom. I'll give it a try. If it doesn't work, I'll get out of there fast. The heat will be intense, but we'll have converging fog streams on you and the wellhead. But you have to work quickly. Hey, buddy, don't be a hero. You give it a shot, and then you get out of there. You hear me? I hear you. All right, I'm ready. Ready, my boys? Let's hear fog pattern.
best dead. I couldn't watch it. I know. The heat must have fused the valve, jammed it shut. Listen, Chief, I think we need a well fire expert here. I mean, we don't want this blaze spreading back to that refinery back there. Now, I've been doing some checking. Kyle Hodges is just upstate. He can be here in a couple of hours. Hodges, eh? Yes, he's the best in the business. Good. Simmons is right. This job calls for an expert with special equipment and knowledge. I'll leave the company here to monitor the fire. But as soon as Hodges gets here, you let me know. You can count on it. Chief Rochuk. Oh, yes, Simmons. Uh, what time does Hodges get in? Half an hour. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you. Hodges? That wouldn't be Kyle Hodges, would it? I'll bet it is. And I'll bet it's that famous guy from Oklahoma who fights the gas well fires. That's the one. What are you two doing here on a Sunday? This is supposed to be the day of rest. Ho, ho, ho. We got bored resting. We decided to come down here and bother you. <laughs> What's all this about Kyle Hodges? Oh, the company hired him to shut down their well. I'm going over to see him now. Oh, can I go with you, please? Wait just a minute. Isn't it too dangerous for Danny to be around a gas well fire? Oh, please, can I go? I want to meet Kyle Hodges. I promise I'll stay where it's safe. Well, I suppose there's no harm in letting him come along with me to meet him. But I don't want to have any problems with you, Danny. You stay put wherever I tell you to, or you're grounded. I promise, Chief. Okay, Chief. Let's go. Thank you, sir. How are you, Mr. Simmons? This is uh, our son, Danny. How you doing? How this you is doing? Mr. Simmons. Hey, good timing. There's Hodges. Excuse me. broken through the ground over there? Well, that means it's eating into the casing and it's a powder keg just waiting to explode. Hey, you firemen there! Back away from that well and get that pump out of there and I ain't moving! But don't your men know how to obey orders? Yes, they do. But only from the commanding officer. That's me, Rochek. Now, what's your problem? My problem is the fire is busted through the ground. And you better get your men out of there because that thing could go up like Mount St. Helen. All right, everybody, pull back. That bullet's about to blow. Move all the equipment back. Everything, everybody back. Light infantry. No matter where you are, in the jungle, the Arctic, the desert, or the mountains, you run out of day before you run out of challenge. You know, all this talk about building your confidence might sound like a lot of hype. Let me tell you, hype doesn't get you to the top of this rock. Be all that you can be. Hey, Gal. What? The elevator's here. Find your future in the yeah. Can I 
help you today? Well, we have a lot of painting to do, but we need help in matching our budget. Oh, no problem. We have quality Fuller O'Brien paints on sale. And for a limited time, you can save up to 35%. Pick Fuller O'Brien's best exterior or interior paints. Great. Now do you think you can match the color of our samples here? Myrna! We can match just about anything. Fuller O'Brien paints, creating color for over 100 years. This U.S. Open Minute is brought to you by Perrier. In 1968 at Forest Hills, Army Lieutenant Arthur Ashe, an amateur, beat Tom Ocker, a professional, to win the first U.S. Open title as it is known today. It was the first time a pro and amateur tennis player competed on the court for a national championship. What if an ancient wind had blown north instead of south? Or the glaciers had melted on Tuesday instead of Thursday. Suppose Jupiter had never aligned with Mars. There may never have been a place called Vergès. Or a spring called Perrier. But luckily, everything happened just right. It's perfect. It's Perrier. As an amateur, Ash could only accept $20 a day expense money, while the man he beat, Tom Ocker, took home $14,000. Is there really a product that can actually stop hair loss? Can you rejuvenate hair growth? I'm Robert Vaughn. Our current product on the market that boasts of its powers to stimulate hair growth and prevent hair loss is called the Helsinki Formula. Now, from the University of Helsinki Hospital in Finland, is Dr. Ilona Shrek Perola. Is this an effective treatment then for anyone experiencing hair loss? About 80% uh, uh, success. It's effective, but is it absolutely safe? It's very safe. It just keeps coming in. I'm pretty happy with the Helsinki product. And sure enough, it's worked for me. Discover for yourself. The Helsinki Formula. To order on your Visa or MasterCard, call toll-free 1-800-642-6800 or send $39.95 plus $3 postage and handling to Pantron 1. P.O. Box 48806, Los Angeles, California, 90048. She's lucky she got off with just a headache. I'm okay, really. I'm just a little shaken up. Well, we're not going to take any chances with you, Haley. You're too valuable to us. I'm sending you in for observation for possible head injury. Hmm? Ted, get the ambulance here. I owe you a lot. Thanks. It's ancient history, darling. Hey, come on, Simmons. We got ourselves a rough one. Go. Just a precaution. Rescue's on the way, Dad. Yeah, you know, Hodges is all business. I said thank you, and I didn't even acknowledge it. I'll say this much for him. He acts like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, maybe. But he's not going to win any popularity contests. He doesn't have to. As long as he gets this situation under control, I'm satisfied. Well, I'm going to need an 80-foot boom crane. I want you to check and see if my nitro's on the way. And then let me have the latest weather report, will you? You got it. Thank you. How was she, Mr. Hodges? Oh, she's gonna be fine, son. Good. That was great. I mean, the way you saved Haley's life and everything. <laughs> well, thank you. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't you take my lucky cap, huh? Why is it your lucky cap? Well, a few months back down near Tulsa, I was setting up one of these dragons to give it the nitro treatment. And this truck rolls by about 100 yards away. 
Well, it shook up that nitro and kaboom! Well, when I finally woke up, that hat was hanging on a derrick right above my head. Aren't you worried about this well? Nah, this isn't anything. I took on a whole field of Roman candles down in El Paso once. Did you win? Well, let me put it this way. The final score was Kyle Hodges 12, gas well fires zero. Well, looks like Danny's found himself a hero. Yeah. What does yeah mean? Well, I think Hodges is good at what he does. Very good. But I think somebody ought to help Danny put things into perspective. Sometimes he looks up to people for the wrong reasons, you know? Well, whatever. I've got to find out what Hodges is up to. I gotta go, but I'd like to hear some more of your stories sometime. Sure, son. You gonna come out and watch me tackle that dragon tomorrow? Sure, if it's all right with you. You bet. You take good care of that cap. I'll take good care. Mr. Hodges, I think we'd better get down to work. But there's one thing I'd like to straighten out. I'd prefer it if you did not interfere with my authority. There's no problems, Chief. I just don't have time for public relations. And I understand you have a responsibility to your men. That's right. But I take all the risks, so I gotta call the shots. Fair enough. Just so long as you work through me. You got it? Good. Let's go inside. Well, the way I see it, we got three options. First off, we can just let this thing burn itself out. That's gonna take eight or nine weeks. What are you talking about? We're paying you to put it out. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. All right, our second option is we drill a relief well. And we cut through diagonally until we hit the old casing like this. And then we fill that up with cement and seal it up tight. And how long does that take? Uh, you're talking three, four weeks? No way. Now, what's our third option? Let me show you. Uh, anybody get a cigarette lighter? All right. Now, here's our gas well. If the valve stays open like this, all you do is make a wish and blow this candle out. Well, that's hardly a birthday candle out there, Mr. Hodges. You betcha, Buster. That's a dragon out there. And if you want me to knock it down, I'm gonna have to hit it with nitro. That's why you wanted the nitroglycerin. That's right. Nitroglycerin explosion blows the flame away and the fire is out like that. Can you have it ready by tomorrow? Well, my men are on their way down here by truck now. Should be here in a couple of hours. We work all night. We're ready tomorrow afternoon. Okay, you line it up. I'll clear with my company. Now, wait a minute. Once you blow the fire out, what happens to the unburned gas? And what about the danger to the surrounding areas? There won't be any. The pressure blows that gas up where the wind can dissipate it. All right, now, as soon as that fire's out, I'm going to start capping that well. We got any problems? No. If there are any problems, you'd have heard about it. Simmons, get the clearance. I'll have my people standing by. I gotta say, that man knows his business. Yeah. And a little bit about show business, too, huh? Just as long as he gets the job done. Hey, boy. You can't sleep in your cap. Yeah, but I told Kyle I'd take good care of it. Well, taking care of it is not sleeping in it. I'll put it down right here. You know, I wish it was morning already. I can't wait to see Kyle blow that fire out. You, sir, have school tomorrow. Oh, what's this about school? I can miss one day. Please, I'll get my homework from Bobby. I just gotta see Kyle blow that well. Look, I'm afraid school is more important. But this will be my last chance ever to see Kyle blow another well. Now, that's enough, Danny. School is your first obligation. You should know that by now. However, if there's anything left to see by the time you get out of school, I'll try to get someone to bring you out. But it'll be too late. Kyle Hodges said that... Kyle Hodges does not have the last word in this house. Ted and Chris will tell you all about it tomorrow. But it won't be the same. morning getting ready. Look, as long as we're off duty, we thought we'd head up there and catch the show. Come on, buddy, you're in plenty of time. Well, let's go. I don't want to miss any of this. You know, that Kyle Hodges is the bravest guy I've ever known. Look, he may be brave, Danny, but nobody's perfect, and Kyle Hodges can make mistakes just like the rest of us. Not him. He even saved Haley's life, didn't he? Well, um, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, I guess I'm okay because of him. See? Danny, we all know Hodges is good at his job, but what we're trying to tell you that the man's not infallible. Nobody is. I don't care what you say. You're probably just jealous because you can't do what he Oh, does. come on, guys. Let's get going. Your Hodges is going to start without us.
I got that thing nailed down. The interior of that box is asbestos coated. That will keep the nitro cool. Right. All I'm asking you is to keep it plenty wet. We'll keep it plenty wet for you. Ready? All right, Mr. Corbett. Let's have the water. Pump it up. That's pretty impressive. There's no way I'd be working with explosives that close to fire, though. Well, Danny, I see you made it out here after all, huh? Well, if you want to see your friend Mr. Hodges working, you're going to have to stay at the construction trailer down there. It's much safer there. And don't move out of there now. <laughs> Take one last look for our blast. You going up in the chopper now? That's right. And I can assure you I'm taking no unnecessary risks. My only risk is if I don't position my equipment properly and check these surrounding roads to see if they're clear. You come up with me, you see what I mean. Well, uh, I'm not really on duty right now. I could use a hand checking the maps. All right. Bring a ground radio. so to speak. And then the fun part. Uh, nitroglycerin. Sound like a party. I gotta hand it to Hodges. He's a showboat, but he knows his business. Yeah, he's careful. I'll give him that much. That's why he's still here. Now orange juice is even more nutritious. We are the taste that starts your day in it made. Healthy bodies need calcium, and every glass has more calcium than a glass of milk. It's the most nutritious orange juice you can buy. Minute made. Minute made. We are the sunshine of your life. 
So my wife says, honey, I've got to go shopping. You'll have to feed the boys. Good thing we had some Chef Boyer D. It's 95% fat-free and no preservatives. So I say, Jack, you have got this together. Thank goodness for Chef Boyer D. Watch this amazing demonstration of the tannery wash and wax, an amazing one-step formulation that washes away even tough road film as it automatically waxes your car so well with polysilicones that water beads. Add it to water according to directions and then wash. As I'm washing this side, I'm also waxing with the polysilicones found in the higher price car polishes. Now I'll do the other side with another popular car wash product. So you can see the difference. Okay, now I'm done with this side and we're ready for the hose. Look what's happening to the side with a tannery. The water is beading. With tannery wash and wax, you simply wash your car and it's waxed. Better yet, it prolongs the life of waxed or poly sealed finishes. Tannery wash and wax at better stores everywhere. Works like a wash, beads like a wax. I'm Gorilla Monsoon. I'm Bobby the Brain here. I'm the host of Primetime Wrestling. I'm the host of Primetime Wrestling. Since when? I've always been. Right here on the USA Network, every Monday night, Primetime Wrestling with your host, Gorilla Monsoon. Hill, you're on your way. Good luck. Midland Command Post out. Chief, be advised that Danny is aboard. Repeat, Danny is aboard. Danny, how's that possible? Head, head. Dan, let him fly. We'll find out later. They, they got a lot of rough terrain to cover from here to Foothill. It's pretty tricky. Well, what could have happened to the chopper, Chris? I, I don't know. When anything goes wrong with the chopper, it's bad news. Hodges is one of the best helicopter pilots around. You'll get them down okay. brass hammers on that wellhead. The slightest spark could reignite that monster. Harry, line up your valves and be sure they're open. Now, come on, guys. Let's hustle. Please. Hustle. Hodges' helicopter did not arrive at Foothill Airport per his flight plan. Over. Roger, OCD. They should have been there by now. They must have gone down. Oh, no. You don't really think that's... We will think positively. They're alive and well. All right, we'll initiate an aerial search. No point in sending a ground crew until we have some idea where they are. Now, Chris, I want you to go up as an observer. Yes, sir. There's a lot of ground to cover down there. They could be anywhere in these hills. OCD from Midland. Dispatch helicopter six to this location. We'll set up a search plan for Hodges helicopter from here. Roger, Midland. It's almost dark. If they went down in those mountains, it's going to be hard for them to survive the night without protection. And with the wind chill factor, it's going to be close to freezing. We'll get to him before that. Listen, Haley. Uh, we're going to have to tell Ann about what's happened. 
Will you bring her here? Sure. Mom's gonna be frantic. Yeah. Sun sure goes down quickly. Where's that chopper? <laughs> Sit down. But it's going to be freezing in the mountains tonight. How are they going to keep warm? Hodges and Ted will come up with something. Trust them. But, Danny, isn't anybody out there looking for them? Well, the search and rescue team is heading in at daybreak. Daybreak? Tomorrow? Hmm? Why not now? Because we think that the area in which they came down is just too remote for them to reach in the dark by foot. It's full of ravines and canyons. Besides, their flight pattern could put them down anywhere in an area Two miles wide and ten miles long. Chopper went up a couple of minutes ago. Chris is with him. I can't see if he's moving or anything. Well, we'll see soon enough, huh? You know, I'm really getting cold. So am I. I figure the temperature will drop 20, maybe 30 degrees before it gets dark. I'll tell you what, as soon as I get down there and check Hodger's condition, find yourself some shelter, okay? You know, you want me to try the radio again? Well, you can try it if you want. But remember, the range on that thing's pretty short down in these canyons. Well, I figured the emergency locator transmitter on the chopper's either broken or damaged, too. Otherwise, we'd have seen a rescue aircraft by now. Now, remember, if you hear our chopper, you give him a call right away, okay? All right. Well, here it goes. Easy does it, right? Wouldn't have it any other way, partner. hard to believe, but this was me two years and 260 pounds ago before I started on the Dream Away plan. I've tried every way of losing weight. Dream Away helped me lose 145 pounds. Nathan and Angela are Dream Away customers who let us know of their wonderful results. Now, whether you need to lose just a few pounds or more, you will lose weight with new Advanced Dream Away. Advanced Dream Away helps to attack fat while the body rests. Take it before going to bed. You can wake up looking better than you did before. I not only lost weight with Dream Away, I kept it on. Since 1983, thousands of people just like you have been losing weight with this amazing plan. They've been reordering, they've been telling their friends, and they've been writing to us. I've lost 
16 pounds, 8 pounds. I went from a size 11 to a size 8. 60 pounds. Well, they go on and on. Advanced Dream Away has made me feel like a new person. It's so darn easy, you gotta lose weight. The Dream Away formula is totally natural. You won't feel jumpy or nervous. During this special offer, Advanced Dream Away can be yours for only $19.95. If you're not satisfied for any reason, we'll refund your money. We couldn't make this offer if we weren't sure how well Advanced Dream Away will work for you. Don't just dream about losing weight. Lose weight with Dream Away. To order Advanced Dream Away, call toll-free 1-800-826-1100. That's 1-800-826-1100. Operators are standing by to take your call. Save $2 by using your Visa or MasterCard. Remember, you must lose weight or your money back, no questions asked. Advanced Dream Away can only be ordered by calling 1-800-826-1100 right now. That's 1-800-826-1100. It's simple for me to make this pack of cigarettes disappear. Now make your smoking habit disappear just as easily. Improved, maximum strength, cigarettes. With Cigarest, there's no hocus-pocus. You'll stop smoking in just seven days, without withdrawal, without gaining weight, without spending hundreds of dollars. And with the Cigarest program, I just did not suffer any withdrawal symptoms. Yes. Cigarest works. We have a lot of friends that smoke. Well, some of them used to smoke. They've, they're, they're trying Cigarest now, and it's working for them, just like it worked for us. If you don't stop smoking after using the Cigarest program, we'll refund the full purchase price. Find a more effective, less expensive stop smoking program and we'll double your money back. It works. Yes. <laughs> Cigarettes works. To quit smoking, call toll free 1-800-922-4400 or send 1995 plus $4 posted in handling to Cigarettes. Box 4444, Carlsbad, California 92008. end up down here. I released my safety belt. Stepped out of that helicopter and went head over heels down that hill. Why don't you just lie still while I check you out? You have any pain in your neck, your head? How about your back? No. How about your legs? Hey. Oh. oh, boy. I think that giant one's busted up there. Yeah, I think you're right. Looks like you got a fractured lower leg, maybe some damage to the knee. Yeah, at least. Ooh. Well, what's the next move, Doc? Well, I don't think you're going to be moving very far on that leg, Mr. Hodges. Well, why don't you just call me Kyle, huh? Okay. I think the best thing to do is just try and make you comfortable while I immobilize this leg. Wait for help. How's it going? Okay, Danny. Just fine. Look, you hang in there, okay? I'll be coming up to get you. We're gonna stay down here with Kyle. Try and light a signal fire. Uh, uh, sorry, Ted. They don't give they don't give survival kits with those rental helicopters. It's not your fault, Kyle. I just don't believe we can't start a fire. No matches, no flares, nothing. It's kind of ironic, huh? Here we are, two firefighters, putting out fires our business, can't even start one when we need one. Nasty twist of fate, isn't it? Hey, you're burning up a fever, partner. I'm gonna have to get you a hospital soon. I'll tell you what, you just lay back, see if you can rest, okay? No use, it's not gonna work. I'm freezing and I wish I was home. Take it easy. Now, don't give up hope now. Somebody's gonna find us, I promise. I'll tell you what, let's forget about the fire for now. Why don't we gather up some branches and some leaves? Maybe we can make a lean to help cut this wind and keep some cold out. What do you say? How are we gonna cut the branches? Oh, you don't think I came totally unprepared, do you? What about that? So 
mate. No word. Can't be good. I just know you're safe and sound somewhere. Poor Danny. He must be so cold out there. Scared half to death. You know, knowing Hodges, I bet they're all sitting around a campfire listening to his tall tales. <laughs> oh, I hope you're right. Danny never could get enough of those stories. Simmons is doing a great job capping the well. He's almost got it done. But I'm going to call in Chris. It's much too windy out there for the helicopter. Do what you think best. Helicopter 6 from Midland Command Post. Gee, I'm glad you're here. Helicopter 6, go ahead. How's the search going, Chris? Well, I've got one more area to cover, then I'll head in. It's getting awful darn windy up here. Yeah. Don't take any unnecessary chances. I'd, I'd like you to come in now. Okay, just one more quick sweep, then we're going to head in. Well, make it a real quick one. Talk to you about. I'm going to give it a shot, huh? Rescue helicopter, this is Ted Rorchak. Come in, do you read me? Rescue, this is Ted Rorchak. Do you read? Come in. Midland Command from Helicopter 6. There's nothing on this pass. I'm coming in. Let's huddle on this lean to it. Keep us warm. Uh, I wish we could stay in the chopper. It'd probably be a lot warmer. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. The wind's a lot stronger up there. Besides, we gotta stay here with Kyle. Yeah, well, I wish I had a big jacket and a thousand blankets. I'd take a nice hot shower. Wait a I got an idea, partner. I think maybe we can have a fire tonight. Look, you stay here with Kyle. I'm going to go back up to the chopper. I think I can maybe use those chopper batteries to start some sparks. Think all those times helping Chris jumpstart his old car pay off tonight, huh? Just connected some wires between the terminals on the helicopter battery and used the sparks to catch a branch on fire. It's about time we had some heat in this establishment. Feels good. It's getting warmer already. Is it warm enough for a story, Danny? Well, what good's a campfire without a story, Kyle? <laughs> well, this it's been a rough night. But I'll tell you what, I, I wouldn't trade this for one night down off the coast of Venezuela a few years back. See, what happened was this offshore rig blew. Boy, we were striking 20-foot waves, burning oil. And we thought we... We thought we had this thing capped. We had it capped.
Hey. How you doing, Kyle? Just glad to see the morning. Yeah, me too. Well, we ought to be looking for us again pretty soon. Why don't you just try and take it easy? I hope they hurry up. Well, looks like Danny here's got the right idea. See if you can get a little more sleep. I would if I could, believe me. Well, if you're hungry, I ordered breakfast. Breakfast? What are you talking about? Well, I picked up a few pinion nuts from pine cones. Here, try a few. Those things are right to eat? I'm sure they're okay to eat. American Indians used to live off these things. But you got to gather them before the cones open up and the wind scatters the nuts. Hey, come on, you're the man who's always taking a big risk. Try one. Nah, you just, uh, <laughs> you go ahead and enjoy yourself there. Well, thank you, Chief. <laughs> Hear it again. The helicopter's back. Hey! Run the hey, They gotta be in radio range now. Helicopter six, this is Ted Rorchek. Come in, do you read me? Look, they're there, they're okay. Ted, how are you, buddy? I'm good, Chris. But Hodges is injured. We're gonna need a litter basket. Roger. I tell you what, man, it sure is nice to hear your voice. Yours too, buddy. Yours, too. Oh. Sorry, Donna. He just dozed off. Oh. Is there any word? Well, Chris is up in the air, and it's getting warmer. And if they survive the night... If? Oh, Joe, I can't take this much more. Midland Command Post from Helicopter 6. Midland Command Post from Helicopter 6. Midland Command Post, go ahead. We found them. Ted and Danny are all right. Now, Hodges sustained it. Oh, Pick them up and proceed directly to Park West Emergency. Roger, Roger, Roger. <laughs> potato salad I ever eat. Well, there's plenty more of everything here, Kyle. <laughs> no, no, one time around's enough for me. See, I, I can't work it off like these boys. Oh, you'll be back in shape soon as you get that cast off. Oh, and by that time, you will have knocked down three more well fires, and we'll all be part of one of your yarns. No, uh, no more well fires for the time being. I think I want to go down to Oklahoma and rest up for a while. But I sure hope you'll keep in touch with me. Hey, it's been a real pleasure. Mine. Hey, you know, we started out on the wrong foot, Kyle, but you're a real pro, and I'm glad we got to work together. Well, I learned something from you, too, about how to uh, control my enthusiasm. That's a good word. <laughs> you know, I learned something, too, something about real heroes. Yeah, and what happens if you don't follow the rules, right? Right. I should have asked before I got on that helicopter. Yeah, that reminds me. You're grounded. Ha! Huh. <laughs> oh, and that's going to give you plenty of time for letter writing. And I want you to keep me posted on what you're doing. Okay. And I can write my address on your cast. And then you can write to me, too. Don't anybody go away. I'll be right back. Okay. You know what, Kyle? I've been thinking it over. What's that? Well, for a while there, I want to fight the kind of fires you do. You know. The real exciting ones. But now I just think I'll be a regular firefighter, like Ted and Chris. It's plenty of excitement for me. Well, then I'll tell you what. You're going to be the best firefighter Task Force One ever had. I thought it was time to start adding to the family album. Okay, everybody sort of scrooch together now. Scrooch it together. Okay, smile. A ranger never takes the easy way out. For things you've never known. Go! That's why getting into the Rangers is tough, and the training is tough. So it makes me feel like I'm part of something really special. And I'm not the only one. Introducing Lee Sculptured Nails.